Right, so this is how to build a graph in Word. So here we've got a graph to show, this is my title and you'll need a title as well, a graph to show the changes in flexibility when exercise intensity increases. All right, so basically our investigation is to look at what our flexibility is like before we exercise, what it's like after warm up, and what it's like when we really increase the intensity and we're in the main activity. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is insert a chart. So the best way to do it is on you. Mine looks slightly different because I'm using a Mac, but it's a case of clicking insert and your insert will be along this tab somewhere. And then to click um, something called chart. So I'm struggling to find chart here, but there it is, chart. Um, and then it will bring up somewhere along this line a chart. We will want a line chart, okay? And um, the best line chart, I think, is the marked line chart because we'll be able to see the points that are plotted. So we'll pick the marked line chart. It will then populate this. That Yours will actually populate within your Word document. We need to remove this bottom category because we know there's only three times we tested and we know there's only three participants. So we delete that bottom category. Um, along here goes the names, so Lee. Alex and Mark. So you must have three participants. Here is before exercise. This is uh, after warm up. And this is during exercise. Okay. Now Lee scored seven. Um, and then he scored a 10, and finally he finished on a 13. Alex was a 17, he went up to a 19, and he finished on 23. Mark was a 3, uh, a 5, and then he went a 6, so we didn't get much change in Mark. And we've got our data in there. And what that data will do, it will populate this chart, so we can see the changes. Okay, and we've got the three people on there, we've got that information plotted and what you can do is you can make it as big or small as you like but as soon as you've got the whole page you might as well increase it and make it as big as you possibly can for that page. Okay, And that's that part finished. All right, so you've got your chart in there. 